Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another video for you guys. I just came back from one of the newest Japanese dollar stores that opened in my area and it's amazing. It's like literally a huge Japanese um, dollar store that is kind of like the size of a mini department store. Um, really cool. They have so many interesting items and for you stationery lovers, this video is for you. I picked up this acrylic um, note sorter, which I thought was perfect for sticky notes. So as you guys know, I love the cloth and paper sticky notes and I've been finding, trying to find ways to house them. I recently saw their Affiliate Friday uh, video and the girl who was hosting that week's Affiliate Friday had acrylic storage for all her post-it notes. So I thought I would do kind of like the same thing. And then when I saw this for $2, immediately I was like, yes, I gotta get that. So really, really cute, really great for the desktop as well. So excited about that. I'm really excited to show you guys some of the washi tape that I purchased. Each one was a dollar to two dollars and I'm, I'm really stoked about this. They have a huge selection of washi tapes and it's just amazing. It's like a stationary lover's dream, that whole place. I'm definitely thinking of going back tomorrow to pick up some more things because I didn't have a lot of time. The store was closing and I, and I didn't have a lot of time to browse around, look carefully, but I quickly snagged a lot of items that I really wanted to get and uh, thought it would be useful because I do look pretty decent today. So I, I was thinking to film the video and just all in all, it's like the whole planning situation with um, me actually looking camera ready and also um, me running out of time and wanting to post a video. So anyways, the first washi tape that I got was this one right here. It's so pretty. It's like, it was only a dollar, which is crazy because this kind of quality Japanese um, sticky tape I got this gold one, washi tape, is usually $3, especially foiled ones like this, so I'm really stoked about that. So that's the first washi tape I got. The second one is this one right here. This one is super cute as well. I'm just gonna open them all. And I don't even know what the pattern is, but it is kind of like um, these little Japanese uh, cartoon character that looks like a little old man. I really love it. I love how minimal it is as well. One color with kind of a clear, um, clear transparent, white background and then um the little the little cartoon on it very cute as well if i'm doing a red theme in my bullet journal or just want to accent my regular journal as well another one that i got that is super cute is this cat one. Oh my god it's so cute i couldn't even though i'm a minimalist planner person i could not leave the shop without getting this cute roll of washi tape with photorealistic cats on them. Are you kidding me? So cute. I'm like a huge cat person as well. So that's what I got. Um, the next thing, let's see, I is this thing right here. This was $2. It's just a clear acrylic tray. Um, I was thinking to put like pens in this. This will look great in photographs if, I, if I'm taking stationary photograph for my Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's I'm so Wong number three. I'll link it down below as well. Uh, you can follow me for all stationary inspo videos and photos. And I was thinking it would be so cute to put like my liners and whatnot with the photos. So that's kind of like the purpose of that. It's kind of like Instagram, but also functional wise. I think this was really good as a desk insert. As you can see, it's only like about one and a half centimeters deep so this will fit in any sort of drawer I have and it'll be great for just putting pens or putting like mini post-it notes and just overall really nice acrylic piece and it was only two dollars and as you guys know acrylic is really expensive anything to do with um, organization acrylic stuff is super expensive so Japanese people love using a5 size binders like this one right here when I saw this I immediately thought of my cloth and paper subscription box um, from last month which featured this right here. So I got this from Cloth and Paper, the subscription box, and it is a 20 ring um, binder, which is very popular in Japan. I actually own a lot of those campus notebooks that are also A5, so I'm familiar with this. And um, a lot of people have been um, talking online about what fits in the A5 agenda. So I thought I would purchase some things from the Japanese dollar store to see if it fits. The mechanism is a little bit different. It's a 20 hole binder. You push this bit out this way and then and the rings open like so so you can put your loose leaf paper in like that so it's very different from the way that um the a5 works from cloth and paper the one from cloth and paper you just simply push the tab down i don't know if i can do it standing up without all the pages 
coming out, but you pull it down and it opens and then you push it back up and it closes. So let's have a look and see if the A5 inserts that I purchased at the Japanese dollar store fits inside the cloth and paper binder. If not, it's fine, I have the pink binder. But these are the two things that I bought. I bought this um, divider pack. So it has um, all the holes in there already, 20 rings, uh, 20 holes. And then I bought this clear um, kind of sort of insert um, that you can put um, paper inserts in between. So very interesting, let's try it out. So let me open it up and I'll just skip the video to that part. So first off, the clear paper pocket fits perfectly inside the A5 agenda that I got from Cloth and & Paper. And then let's try the dividers. Here are the dividers. And they fit perfectly. So now I have a functional cloth and paper binder. Um, so that tells me that all standard Japanese A520 ring inserts fit in the cloth and paper frosted um, agenda, which is great news for everybody who's asking me out there about how I'm utilizing the cloth and paper um, A5 frosted binder. So yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys as well. Um, unfortunately, this Japanese store, dollar store, um, is not online, so it's um, only available for people who can actually go to their store, but I will leave the link of this uh, particular Japanese stationery store, or not stationery, dollar store that holds a bunch of other things. They have like kitchenware and everything else. I'll link the address and everything down below for people who live in Toronto, Canada. You guys can visit the store to get um, the inserts. So that's really exciting. So now let's get to the fun part, which is all the stickers and other things I got along with this right here. So this is an A5 folder or not folder, I don't know, it's like a hard plastic, but it's kind of like those kid folder things where you can hold all your stationery. And I thought this was perfect for all the other A5 inserts that are not in use in my collection that I got from cloth and paper. It's just a really great place to store loose leaf paper so that it doesn't get wrinkled or anything. As you can see, it snaps closed and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So you can actually put this in a bookshelf or somewhere and store it very nicely. It's clear, it's beautiful, it's really good plastic. They also have this in different sizes. They have A6, A4, and um, A7, I believe. All the different Japanese paper sizes. I'm really excited about that. So all the things that I purchased, they put inside this little container for me because it was just ease of carry. Uh, and I love that because the people in the store are really intelligent when it comes to like organizing things even when she was like packing my bags the way she was like storing things in the bag made so much sense anyways I, I don't know that's just like small things I noticed so let's get into the interesting deco planner things that I got so the first thing is this right here I got these journaling cards and they have a whole stack of really cute fashionable journaling cards that I'm really excited about this is the first one that I got and it's just like kind of like hands on a notepad very very cute so these are individual cards so this is like perfect for in your agenda or um, you can give this as like a little note or whatever and it just says study notebook, which is really, really cute. So you can put little memos on here. If you are someone who's studying, you can write down um, assignments that you have coming due. I don't know. It's just a really cute little pack and it was only $2. So I thought, let's just get that because it's really cute. The next thing that I got were these stickers right here. They have a bunch of these little paper stickers, kind of washi sheets, if you, if like, yeah, people call these washi sheets, but really cute bunch of label stickers. This is a galaxy theme and it comes with 56 stickers. Really cute. Next thing, I got these dotted stickers, which are so great for planning. If you guys follow a lot of people on the planner community, they use color-coded dots as um, part of their planning system. So I thought I would use these really pretty watercolor ones. As you can see, it's like speckled and really textured as well. So this is, would be a fun way for me to try out that sort of theme. I do have transparent stickers that I use that I received in my cloth and paper. Oh, my hair <laughs> got caught in my ring. Um, I do have um, cloth and paper transparent stickers that I use um, for that purpose as well. And also in the back of the sticker sheet, you can see that it advertises it as uh, planner stickers as well. So you can see that a lot of these planning ideas and tools do come from Japan. And I love that this new um, Japanese dollar store holds a bunch of these types of things for me to like kind of expand on my planning uh, paper planning journey. So really cute. Um, next thing I got were more transparent dots. These are um, pastel colored ones. I also got these little um, labels as well. Really cute. They come in like a gingham 
sort of pattern, really nice for spring. Also very minimalistic with the light pastels, not a lot of color going on. I got some fun things. So I got these um, foiled individual stickers. If you can see like there's gold foiling highlighted on each fruit and they're just a bunch of fruit stickers. Really cute as well. I also, oh, this is my mom. She got, bought labels, big labels, but it's kind of boring. Um, but two other things I got were these little page flags. These are those micro mini page flags, which I love. Um, they're really nice because if you have a small agenda, they work really nice to highlight certain things inside an agenda. And I love these two tones. It, it comes in this kind of um, greenish neutral tone and then this pastel one as well, which is really fun. Um, moving along, I also got these Miner, Miner? <laughs> I got these mini label stickers as well so that I can label um, stationary items, files, whatever I want to. And this would work perfectly in that cloth and paper um, idea, like not cloth and paper, but um, in the inserts that I got as little labels for um, the colored, uh, what do you even call these, side tabs that I got for this binder. Really, really cute, really, really love this. And then I was so surprised because they actually have packs of stickers that are for their planner and they're foiled gold and these were only two dollars which is amazing. So it comes with four sheets and they're foiled planner stickers as you can see page flags and then they have little messages on everything which I thought was so great for only two dollars. I mean I don't have to splurge and go uh, with a happy planner um, sticker sheet book. I could just use uh, one of these from this Japanese dollar store. They're killing it with the stationery game. I'm so excited about this new store in my community. It's just really great for people who love paper planning. So that's that. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's really quick little haul. I'll probably be uploading more um, from this Japanese stationery store soon because I will be taking another visit there. I did not have enough time to go through aisle by aisle, row by row. It was a massive store. It was so fun. And there's so many like photo booth off opportunities there like Instagrammable moments I'll insert some pictures here as well and yeah so it's, it's just like a really fun store and I love it uh, especially because they have great organizational things for only two dollars like bins and like acrylic storage systems and all those things they have amazing a5 um, size paper good storage and all the different all the different paper sizes um, as well and then a bunch of really cool sticky notes and this is just like like a fraction of the things that I saw that I wanted. There were so many more things that I wanted to buy and test out as well, but that will have to come in a later video. So if you guys wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to know of new videos that I'm uploading. And you can follow me on my blog as well. Uh, I'll put all the links down below. And especially on Instagram, I always update new things as well. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.